hello world how is everyone doing today this video is going to be me opening a doll that I'm really excited about so this doll is very special she's like kind of rare I think there were some factory issues with her outfit and so she was not um, mass produced like the others in her line so there are very few of her on the market and when I do see her she's really expensive so I mean this was a gift this was a crazy gift from my doll bestie y'all know Corey Gordon <laughs> it was an early Christmas gift that I just got on Saturday and I've been dying to open her but I wanted to wait until I could film the opening because I'm just so excited and I wanted to share my excitement with the rest of the people that watch these videos so today I will be opening are you ready? Ah. I tried to do my makeup inspired like Miss 24 Karat DJ. And this box is really special because everything's in Japanese, I believe. Um, could be Chinese, you know, I'm kind of ignorant so I don't really know. I think actually it's Chinese. I figured before I opened her I would address where I've been lately so I have not uploaded the past couple of weeks I uploaded like one or two videos and that is just because I've been so busy with school I know no one cares like I know no one is watching this thinking where did this bitch been? I just thought I would address that just to make myself feel better because doing this is like a fun hobby it keeps me in a in a schedule or rhythm or something and so when I don't post for a whole week I just feel really bad about it just because like it's something that I really enjoy to do whether people watch it or not I really like editing and putting videos together so it kind of sucks when I get off track or I just get busy or I don't have time to do it because that means I spent my time doing boring stuff that I don't really care about or I was in school the whole time so there's an explanation for that. Anywho's, I'm gonna switch the camera to the ground and I'll be unboxing her so that you can see everything close up. I'm very excited and I hope everyone is excited as I am for Miss 24 Karat DJ. All right, and during this unboxing, we are joined today by a very special guest, Henry Tortellini Dobbin, my little baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm just gonna let him cruise around my room while I'm doing this unboxing so he may pop up for a little cameo here and there. Right now he's kind of nervous, he doesn't know what's happening, I just hope he doesn't take a shit right here in this area. For the meantime, we have 24 karat DJ to unbox, yes! Uh, Henry, you might need to, might need to exit stage right. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and get this pop in. Okay, we slide her out. I love the color scheme. The purple and gold is gorgeous. And this is actually my first LOL OMG doll that has really curly hair like this, so I'm really excited. Okay, Henry is just loving his camera time right now. <laughs> We're gonna start by pulling here at the little sticker. Okay, and I always struggle this part. Ah, there she is. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, I love the outfit that she starts with, the little underwear. Let's have a look at her though before we start popping into those accessories. Yas with the shorts and Yas with the like Calvin Klein style underwear pieces. Really cute. So we'll just put her off to the side. And this one comes with a little that I'm not very excited about because, you know, like I said in previous videos, I don't know what to do with the little ones. All right, so let's start deboxing. I'm just gonna pull this out. All right, and her box is pretty cute. I know I don't focus a whole lot on the boxes when I do these videos, and I do apologize for that. I'm just usually more excited about the doll, but this one I'll try to be real in depth um, so you can see everything. I do like this, like this little, that's a fun detail. It is kind of a waste of plastic, but you know, as with most of these dolls are, let's just get her out of the way. You know, she's actually kind of cute. I, I do like her, I like her hair color. There he goes, he's moving. She's actually pretty cute. I like the little necklace detail. She's kind of fun and fresh, you know, the outfit. I like the, the knee high, what are these called? Like Converse, like high tops. Hers are really high. The little heads are so bobbly. I feel like if I was a child, I'd be so into this. Like this is totally like, you know, modern Polly Pocket, especially with the clothes. I always love the bags. I always think these are such fun, cute patterns, especially when they match, well, they usually always match the dolls that they come with, so. I think that's really fun. Little DJ baggie there, super cute. And in this baggie, we have her jacket, which is fun. I didn't notice, oh, I suppose it does. Okay, when I saw the box, I didn't realize it was gonna have fur at the top, but I just looked again and it certainly does. <laughs> very shiny, very well made. I even love the little zipper, very, very detailed. 
and I like the stitching pattern on it. it looks really really cute okay the fur super super soft it kind of feels like it might shed and it kind of is I wonder if that was I'm trying to pay attention to her outfit because I think there was some some kind of issue with her outfit and that's the reason why she's so rare and why they kind of stopped making her. And then we have the pants. Ooh, these are so cute. I like the gold trim on them and I like that there's chains on both sides. That's just really fun and unique. And then the pockets, very cute. Okay, this material is really good. These remind me of old school Bratz pants. And I love them. They remind me of like the Bratz boys pants, so. And now let's do the shoes. Oh, and then here's the little, looks like a coffee baby bottle for the, the little one. So that's fresh. Let's do the accessories first. And now I know that they like to fold the earrings in there all special and I don't want to drop them and lose them because I, I swear that my big wig didn't come with earrings, but I also double checked the floor and everything after I was done unboxing to see if I, maybe they had fallen out, but they didn't. Here's the little headset, BBPM. I have no idea what that means. If someone could enlighten me in the comments below, that would be wonderful. And then here's her little gold chain, which matches her little. That is really sweet. And, oh, the earrings. Okay, these are so cute. DJ, that is fun. All right, size six and a half, gold pleather. And that is the shoe style. All right, wow, these, these are special. Look at those things. Wow, those are really, really cute. I love those. Oh, we have one more little bag here, surprise bag. I imagine this is a purse and it's a purse. Oh, and this is a really, really cute purse because it looks like a little record. Oh yeah. And these purses are, are thick, like they can actually hold a lot of stuff in there. Oh, oh, we got Henry coming through. <laughs> coming to check out the stuff. Oh, and she even has a big old gold ring. That is so cute. Where is the thing? The doll is free and she is, oh my goodness. We have got a wobbly little arm there, but that's not a big deal. I'm sure I could still pose her. Both her arms are pretty wobbly. Wow. I have not experienced this with an OMG doll yet, so this is interesting. And are they beautiful, beautiful doll? Like I can't even fault her for the wobbliness. So now that I look at her face a little bit more, there is some slight inconsistencies with her eyeshadow, but not a big deal at all. She still looks gorgeous and it's just literally just glitter. So I mean, no matter how it's placed, it's still gonna look right. Okay, so now let's get her fully dressed up in her stuff. I'm curious, so now that it's, you know, November time, I think today's the 16th of November, so it's practically Christmas. And I feel like Thanksgiving is just like the pregame to Christmas because I'm all about Christmas. So I, I was curious what everybody has on their Chris, <laughs> Chris, Christmas wish list this year. Who are they trying to get? Are you trying to get dolls? Are you trying to get other stuff that's not dolls? Because I forget that there's a world outside of this. It's about being together and being with family and such. My whole family lives in Wisconsin, so I don't really get to be together with my family. I actually am lucky enough to get to go to my boyfriend's house and spend time with his family, which is always wonderful. And they always have such bomb food. I'm talking about pozole and tamales and all my faves. <laughs> Carne asada, I love it. Let's get a close up shot of that ring. My goodness. That is, what a stunner. So far I can't find what would have been the issue with her outfit. I mean, it's all, maybe like they fixed it for this version or I don't know. I really don't know why she's as rare as she is. And maybe if you know in the comments and you can let me know what the exact truth is because these are just things that I've like kind of read online or seen in other people's videos. I don't know for fact why she's so rare. Okay. I actually love her outfit. You know, I find her outfit to be kind of um, simple, but the simplistic aspect of it is what makes it so cute. I think it looks really, really nice all together. I think that some of the OMG dolls, there's just so much going on that it takes away the beauty of the doll almost, and you're just distracted by the flurry of bright colors, jewelry, and accents all over them that you kind of 
you know, you lose sight of what the doll actually looks like. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense, but I hope that I am. She has got tiny ear holes. The little trick that I use, like if their earring holes are just really small, I find that sticking a toothpick in there can usually help open up the holes a little bit. Just always wanna be careful. I just noticed her little baby hairs. What a cute accent. Wow, precious, I love it. So I never thought that I would actually own a 24 karat DJ, so I'm like so happy right now and so excited to have her in my collection. She is absolutely stunning. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. Look at her and her boots and that purse and the jacket and the earrings. She is all put together and she looks gorgeous. Stand is black with um, some glitter in it. Looks like blue glitter. So that's pretty cool. Final look. She's super, super adorable. Um, I don't have enough nice things to say about her. Like she is probably, she's my favorite in the collection as of right now. I'm in love with all of her accessories and her outfit overall is really cute. And I love the hair color. I love the contrast of the like bright purple with the gold and black. She just looks really good all together. Henry, what do you think of 24 karat DJ? Oh, I think he might like her. He's checking her out. Oh, snap. Oh, looks like we, yep. Oh, okay. I think he's curving her. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching this unboxing. And thank you again, Corey, for 24 karat DJ. I'm obsessed with her, obviously. Probably my favorite in my collection right now. I think she's such a stunner. And so I'm really, really glad that I have her in my collection. Yay! <laughs> Henry's glad too. Henry says, what's up? Anyway, yes, thank you everyone for watching this video and make sure that you leave a comment down below, please. I'm always asking people to comment in the description because I just love talking to everyone that comments on my videos. It's so much fun. And people that leave nice comments really make my entire week. It makes me feel like I'm doing this. Like, you know, it's fun for myself but when other people enjoy it it's really really sweet and I just I feel so good inside <laughs> oh Henry would like to say a few things as well <laughs> I sincerely sincerely thank everyone for watching and let me know what is on your Christmas wish list down below because I am curious what is everybody looking for this holiday season if you don't celebrate Christmas then comment down below what your plans are what do you celebrate other things about your culture traditions I'm curious as always I would love to know I think I'm gonna end it off here so I can get started on editing as soon as possible and get this video up as soon as possible so yeah thank you